It may look like a victory speech, even sound like one. Muslim League, known as the largest single party in the country today, after the elections. But it's not a win for the men widely seen as the one backed by Pakistan's powerful military. Nawaz Sharif, a three-time former prime minister, was the perceived favorite. In an election, many thought was predetermined. Instead, it was a tight race. Voters came out in large numbers for Imran Khan, the former prime minister jailed and barred from running. His party, the target of a crackdown by authorities. And his candidates forced to run as independents. They pulled off a stunning victory in many parts of the country. The vote count was excruciatingly slow, marred by delays. That fueled anger and frustration from Khan's supporters, which boiled over as allegations of vote rigging piled up. This candidate for Khan's Pakistan Tariq Insaf party took to Facebook to call it out. The mandate of the people has been stolen, he says. Amr Masood Mughal shows me the official election night document he says proves he won, only to have that result switched in the morning. Uh, the result is different from the uh, Form 45. Official document. So, complete change. Ah, complete change. Even with the alleged irregularities, the party did well. Khan from behind bars also claimed victory with an AI-generated message, calling it a landslide and an unprecedented fight back. But with both sides convinced they've won, analysts say the turmoil in Pakistan's politics is far from over.